Yeah, welcome everybody. So this today uh, is just a wonderful milestone. And uh, thank you for sharing this with us. It's something that we're going to remember and we're recording and it'll be available for uh, as a legacy going forward for next generations. It's our pleasure to finally introduce to the public all the work we've been doing on the General Lewis Trusty Puller Gallery. Uh, the, uh, my name is Dan Starks. Uh, this is my wife, Cindy. Cindy and I are the uh, founders of the museum, uh, working with a lot of other uh, just very talented people. I don't mean that we're the talented people, working with a lot of other people who are very talented to uh, put all of this in place. Uh, also here with me is uh, Doug Cubison, uh, the curator of the museum. Doug has been uh, absolutely instrumental in uh, all aspects of the museum. All of the words you read and all of our captions and all of our images and all of our uh, signs and rooms have been written by Doug. Uh, uh, just extremely talented. We're uh, very uh, lucky to have Doug as, as part of our team. Right next to me here is Senior Vice Commander Jim Risch, uh, uh, who next month will become the uh, commander of the Wyoming Department of the VFW. Jim, thank you so much for joining us here. And uh, Randy Richardson, uh, stand up if you would. Uh, so Randy is uh, the owner of uh, Richardson Construction, and Randy and his team are the ones who built this entire museum. And they're building the next uh, building here just to the south, our administrative building. And Randy, it's great being a partner with you, and thank you so much for everything you've done. Every time anybody who knows anything about construction comes in here. They always uh, want to exclaim on uh, who, who did this? Who did this uh, construction? It's just absolutely top uh, on, a, on a total national and international level. This is a very highest quality work uh, uh, right here from a company and a team based in Cheyenne. Uh, so thank you very much, Randy, and thanks for joining us here today. Oh, that, that was a pleasure uh, building it for you. It's been a great Th trip, so thank you. Thank you. I'm going to start with uh, who is General Lewis Chesty Puller? So we've named this entire gallery after Marine General Lewis Chesty Puller. Chesty Puller is the most decorated Marine in American history. He was in combat in Central America prior to the uh, World War II. In World War II, he became particularly famous for his leadership in, uh, in uh, m multiple of the bloodiest battles in the Pacific theater against the Japanese. Of particular note, can you imagine? So this was really our, our first major engagement by the Marines against the, uh, against the Japanese in the, in the Pacific on the island of Gua Guadalcanal and about six months of fighting in Guadalcanal. And uh, so we're, we're just, this, this is uh, first blood for our Marines uh, in, uh, uh, in a lot of ways. And, uh, there, there was one, one evening that the Japanese are doing a mass attack on the marine uh, 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 units that are at one end of the island, and their goal is to just push us right into the ocean and completely destroy our presence. The uh, Japanese Navy had superiority at night, uh, and uh, uh, we had everything going against us. In that uh, one battle, uh, General Chesty Puller and uh, held his unit together effectively in the face of overwhelming numbers attacking them, trying to uh, just wipe them out without regard for their own lives. The Japanese in complete uh, kamikaze, uh, going to fight to the death. Uh, didn't matter what happened to them. They were just going to wipe us off the face of the earth. Uh, Chesty Puller's uh, unit killed 1,400 Japanese in that one battle and lost 71 of our own. Uh, just one thing that Chesty Puller did. Uh, then Chesty Puller again was um, uh, fought in the Korean War, uh, which is why we uh, we uh, we gave the Army the naming rights to the World War II gallery uh, with uh, uh, General Marshall, uh, but we gave the Marines naming rights here for the Korean War part of our uh, in interpretation. Uh, uh, Chesty Puller then was the, in charge of the 1st Marine Regiment at the Battle of the Chosen Reservoir, Reservoir when uh, the, both the Army and Navy units in Northern uh, Korea were completely surrounded by multiple Chinese armies, over 300,000 uh, uh, battle-hardened uh, Chinese troops. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the two Army formations were 
destroyed. Uh, one was um, uh, really um, suffered about 90% casualties, Task Force Faith. Uh, the remaining survivors were every man for himself, uh, fleeing uh, just alone. Uh, some going across the frozen surface of the Chosen Reservoir trying to, trying to get to the Marine lines. Uh, the uh, other Army formation was under the command of General Walker, the 8th Army on the west uh, uh, side of the, uh, the mountains that divided our, our, uh, our two uh, task forces. Uh, the 8th Army was uh, completely driven back in the longest retreat in American history uh, from near the Chinese border to south of the capital of Korea. And so we were under a lot of pressure, and the, the, all that remained was the Marines on the west side of the Chosen Reservoir, uh, surrounded by multiple Chinese armies. And uh, uh, Chesty Puller, uh, with, in these desperate straits, uh, was uh, 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 kind of uh, led his troops, saying that uh, we've finally found the enemy, and uh, we're surrounded, so we, uh, now we can kill him. And uh, there were more Chinese behind the Marines to cut off the, any possible retreat than there were in front of the Marines. So Chesty Puller characterizes this famous retreat from the Chosen Reservoir as it wasn't a retreat at all. We just turned around and attacked in another direction. And there were more Chinese behind us, so we attacked behind us. Uh, that's Chesty Puller. And that's uh, five Navy Crosses, Silver Star, uh, Bronze Star, other uh, awards of valor. And we're remembering him for forever here, uh, honoring him, naming this entire uh, uh, gallery after him. Do we have any Korean War veterans here? We don't. Uh, do we have families of Korean War veterans here? And, and uh, uh, I know we have Vietnam War veterans here. Uh, Vietnam War veterans, uh, just uh, raise your hands if you would, please. And, and families of uh, Vietnam War veterans. So I just want to say that we're giving you the uh, the, the best tribute we know how, creating this memory and this, uh, this honor, uh, uh, commemorating what you did in your service and uh, what your loved ones did in their service. And that's what this gallery is about. That's what this museum's about. We all know that particularly with uh, those of you who served in Vietnam, you never got the respect and appreciation and the thank you and the welcome home that you deserved and that other Americans have received from their combat service. Well, we're, we're making up for that just a little bit. And we're thanking you and we're telling you that what you did was a big deal and we know it. And we're remembering it to the best of our ability here. Uh, and we're, we're displaying it to the best of our ability. Your stories and your sacrifice and your valor are going to be remembered forever by everybody who comes to this museum. And so that's what we're doing here today. Uh, we're, we're thanking you and we're honoring you and we're going to make sure that for the rest of the time that this museum exists, uh, people that don't know your face and that don't know your name are still uh, thanking you and remembering you and honoring you. And so uh, that's uh, just thank you so much. And everybody, uh, let's recognize uh, our veterans and veterans' families. Thank you so much. Stand up. Just stand up. That's uh, that's a small thing. Stand up, if you would. Come on, you guys. Uh, stand up, and uh, you got you got to do it. Just stand up and uh, uh, be be recognized. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, all of you. Thank you so much. You 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 weren't treated well, but you uh, performed just wonderfully and you've carried it for the rest of your lives, and uh, thank you. Uh, Jim, let me ask, uh, you want to say a few words? Uh, I can. Yeah, please do. My wife always says it's not a problem getting me to talk, it's getting me shut up. <laughs> a year and a half ago, we had our department uh, midwinter convention here in Dubois, and Dan was gracious enough to invite all of the attendees at that conference to uh, come down here and go through the museum. At that time, we had the national commander for the VFW, uh, Doc Schmidt, came, was at our conference. And he was just blown away by what, as everybody was, that came down here on that tour. And so, Dan, on behalf of the 4,000 plus members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars in the Department of Wyoming and the 1.6 million 
members of the Department of Veterans of Foreign Wars on the national level, we thank you so much for this museum. Because through this museum, people are going to understand that the freedoms that we have in this country today did not come cheaply. They came with a price. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't really have anything to say. I hope all of you enjoy this new exhibit. Uh, we have put the entire staff of the museum here has put an exceptional amount of effort uh, into creating this experience for you. And uh, we hope that this experience honors uh, all of my many friends who are Vietnam veterans. And uh, our staff has been proud to present it, and we hope you enjoy it, and we hope you feel honored by it. Thank you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a ceremonial ribbon cutting right there at the entrance to the Korean War exhibits, and then uh, beyond that is the, uh, the Vietnam War exhibits. And then uh, it's, uh, I invite all of you to join me on a tour. I'm going to uh, offer a tour just right after the ribbon cutting. We're just going to go forward and... Uh, show you what we've got those of you who who haven't been here yet, and you're all you're all welcome uh, so uh, uh, Let's see with that. I'm gonna let's just walk over here. We've got a ribbon over this way Okay, yeah, perfect Okay, so that concludes our ceremony, and uh, now it's, uh, let's uh, see what we've put together. <laughs> <laughs>